Hello everyone, this will be the review of game Please Find Me and the key was provided by developer. Uh, this is probably going to be crap alert, uh, but this is right after patch. Uh, the game has two big problems. Uh, one is that our character doesn't uh, walk normally. He acts as if he was a, a crash dummy for some reason, which is completely ridiculous in this genre. And uh, the other problem is that uh, items you pick up slip out of your hands constantly. I don't know if this is supposed to happen or not. Uh, there is literally one information on forum. Someone was saying that uh, when he played this game, his VR was on constantly for some reason. Uh, I don't have VR, so I can't say what it means, but maybe that is causing the problem. Uh, we are right after the patch, so I'm gonna test it. That was definitely the problem before. And then we'll talk about the game itself, because uh, the way it was done so far was horrible, just in terms of those two uh, basic elements, walking and picking up uh, items. So let's just see if it's the same. I will try to progress very little and do the same things as I did before, and we'll see if we run into the exactly same bug. Uh, generally speaking, this is a walking simulator where you use items and you are supposed to... Uh, move around and use those items in proper places also find your way to uh, next place you basically go from point A to point B so you're this guy somewhere in the forest uh, with dead uh, almost dead fire now he's going to uh, excrete I think urine I'm not sure if that's what's, what happens uh, at some point there was some weird yes that's what he's doing I think he's pissing. I'm not sure if that was the idea, but he is. Uh, you can notice that he's bobbing left and right. So I guess this ragdoll physics is all the time here. I'm not touching anything. This is what happens. He just moves like this, right? He's just moving around. By the way, before it was timed. Uh, the information was that those bags will get wet and it was timed. It was on a timer. Now it's, yes, it's still there. Now it appeared. Okay, so I'm going to move towards the wall, I think backwards. Yes, we're still bobbing left and right. If we start losing items, it usually happens when you run. Let's just keep going like this. I'm not gonna run. I'm constantly bobbing. Yes, that's, that's happened again. See, that's, that's, what, that's what's happening. You just roll around for no reason. And you have to pick up items again, constantly. And you have to slowly go uh, to some location. I don't know what location. There is no map, but I know. That, I guess I know that this is along that wall and more further. I'm just trying to progress. I'm probably gonna lose the items again, so I have to be on my uh, toes. See, still bobbing left and right. This is right after the patch, so nothing changed for now. Still losing items and still moving around. Now here you can use uh, E button and this is going to like oh I died. There was an, an enemy for no reason. He wasn't there before. And those enemies instantly kill you and you have to start over. So I'm gonna start again. There's just a random monster ev everywhere. Now if you go to a wrong spot you will die instantly. Uh, there is just a cutscene and you die. Uh, there is also a chance that you will be ran over by something or that you will run into that uh, enemy, that sort of tree monster. You probably didn't see him, but they are here somewhere. Not sure if they are randomly placed or how does it work. Uh, not sure if this is scripted that you lose those items. Maybe it's scripted, but I think I was losing them randomly. I'm not sure if it's always two items that you lose at some point. Maybe you lose them at some point. Maybe this is scripted. I'm not sure, but it's a very weird mechanic. Still not losing anything yet. Not sure what's causing the, the loss of items. I didn't see any monster, but they're hard to see. Yes, again, losing stuff. Uh, we lost the bag. We lost the flashlight. There is the bag. I'm trying. Alright. So we are going right inside. Not sure if there is a monster. I don't see any monster. It might be right behind me, but I don't know. 
Okay, so this counts. No. Yes. He appears instantly behind me. I guess this is uh, changed. Uh, I'm gonna do it once, one more time and I will try to run... Uh, or maybe twice. I will try to run inside and die because before if you explore the cave uh, you were dying instantly. Maybe it was changed. Uh, what are other options? I could just not put the bugs there and go um, instantly into the cave and try to explore. So that's the other option. I will try the uh, other option after that. So first we'll try to put it there and run inside. Probably that's a bad idea, but... This was definitely changed because the monster wasn't there before. I, I, I don't see him, by the way. Oh, that's the monster, right? That's the monster. I'm trying to run. He's definitely badly placed. Okay, well, let's run inside. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Let's run inside and die. If you go there, you will die. Apparently this is now completely unplayable because you will always run to the monster there. But there's another one. Uh, okay, so last attempt. Last attempt. I don't know how you can beat him, by the way. No idea. He's definitely wrongly placed because now you always run into him. It wasn't a problem before. And the bobbing is really annoying. You can get uh, probably sick because of that. Uh, seasick, I mean. Alright, let's go. So, if I go from the right, it doesn't matter from which side I come. Uh, always gonna run into the monster. So basically after you place your bags uh, it tells you to, ra to wait. It tells you to wait and uh, the rain is supposed to stop. I don't know how it's supposed to happen because it never happened. But you are supposed to wait. I don't see myself waiting with the monster around. Maybe he's randomly placed. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I place it there. Now it says what? By the way, I just got uh, achievement, which wasn't there. I did it like three or four times before. Maybe it was fixed, I don't know. So if we go there, I will get information that I shouldn't move forward. And a cutscene. Right, so there is a cutscene, very weird. You get Parkinson, and you fall over. Not sure what's there, maybe there is an item. I don't know, that's a brick. That's a brick that does nothing. I'm gonna go inside. There should be info now. Oh, I instantly died. So, this is how you can die in some situations. So, let's do it once more. I will try to place it. And if we die, we die, and if we don't die, I will just sum up. And I will try to do it one more time. Okay, so duffel bags, backpack... Actually, it says bags, it doesn't say backpack. It doesn't matter. Uh, from the screenshots that I've seen on the Steam page, it seems that there is more content to this. I have no idea, however, how you get there, what is supposed to happen. Generally speaking, you die here or you get stuck in the cave. You can go inside the cave because then is the scene of insta-death. Maybe you're really supposed to wait in real time to uh, well to cause the rain to stop. Maybe that's the thing. But I'm not sure how long you're supposed to wait. So let's just go inside. By the way, this guy is not here for some reason. He was there before, so it's weird. Right, so I'm gonna Oh my goodness. Again, this rolly, rolling around. Like a ragdoll. Right, bags. Where is my flashlight? It's there, I guess. Right. So I'm gonna just stop here. Uh, okay, guys. So, uh, we have broken movement. That is very rare. Uh, usually, even if the game is an asset flip and it's completely horrible, you can walk around and jump. That's the basic stuff. I know you even jump. Well, yes, you do. Um, so, 
that is broken, you just roll around uh, like a ragdoll. Uh, th there is a mechanic of losing objects constantly. D don't know what is causing it, how it happens, but apparently you are uh, losing objects in your hands sometimes randomly. There is definitely death scenes, which are supposed to be the part of the game. So if you go the wrong way, you will die. It will happen uh, sometimes, just you know, randomly. Maybe, maybe not randomly. It's just a scripted situation. You go in some place that you shouldn't go, and you die. Sometimes it's obvious, like you run in a monster, or you get uh, run over by a bulldozer, or you just go into some uh, place in a cave or somewhere, and you die. Uh, I couldn't progress past that. As you can see, the rain is not stopping. I cannot go inside. So maybe we will just go. Uh, I know they, they were talking about going into water, but I don't think there are options here. There will be this stupid information. Well, actually, no information. Maybe I could dive inside. Maybe that's the way to go. Because there was a lot of information about diving inside. I don't know what they mean. Apparently, that's not the water they, ma they mean. There, I will die instantly. So, let's just explore a little bit. Let's just go a little bit. Generally speaking, this game is very, very bad. But let's just give it another try. And I will just explore around. Probably will die instantly, but let's give it a chance. So the ge the rain is not stopping unless you have to sit here for like half an hour. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to hug the right wall, and we'll see what happens. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. It says yes, wait. Well, I could wait anywhere, right? It is just waiting. I could wait anywhere. Maybe I should click something. Maybe I should click the, the bags there. Well, there's a chance we'll make a full circle. There is a bulldozer uh, moving around. So I will just go around. Probably will get killed by that bramble monster, but let's see. Apparently the whole area is uh, closed, so we can go around. Maybe. There's no way to kill the monster. There's another hole, so there's this bulldozer going back and forth. By the way, I don't see it, but I guess it's there. Is it on the right or on the left? Well, I don't see it. There's, there's the bulldozer. It would instantly kill me. There is the monster, I guess, maybe. So let's keep going uh, there. Apparently, there is no way to progress here. Unless there is some hole with water where I should jump in, but... I don't see anything like it. Probably there are random monsters placed somewhere that instantly kill you. Uh, I'm just gonna go around. If not, I can try once more and I can, I can try to click the bags. Maybe that's the thing. But I don't know. There's no prompt about it. You should click something. You should like make a camp inside the cave. Maybe that's the case, but there's no information about it. You'll probably uh, be get stuck in the same place. Like you're gonna do this and that's it. There could be, of course, something in the middle, right? But let's just see around. It's weird that there is no monster now. Okay, so I could go inside again. And can I click anything? Probably not. Well, probably not. Meteor crunch. Can I click it? Yes. No, you can't do it. Oh, I got I got glow stick. That's new. Right. So we got glow stick. Maybe we don't need the flashlight. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the glow stick. What is it? This is a flashlight. No, you can have only one. So let's go with glow stick. I'm going to click that stuff again. Nothing there. Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna die once more. Maybe this glow stick is changing something. I don't know. Maybe we can escape that stuff. Uh, there should be this cutscene again. Right? Can I go there? Maybe? No. That is impossible to go inside. So probably you can't. And this is gonna kill me, right? Probably. 
Uh, let's go further. There is water. Maybe we should go there. Yes, it's gonna kill me again. So I couldn't progress past that. Can I throw it? Maybe. Oh, I can switch it on and off. But that doesn't help. What if I go in darkness? No. Oh, I progressed somehow. That's weird. Maybe the light is causing something to happen. Or maybe I was supposed to click the the, um, the back to get a glow stick. So more cutscenes. Am I alive? Maybe. Right, so I guess I can progress. Maybe. I think this is scripted. Right. I don't have the glow stick. Oh, I moved to some some place. So yeah, I eventually guessed what I what I'm supposed to do. <sighs> now it's loading another area. I guess. And the movement is really horrible. Also, it's on medium settings, so it doesn't work the best. It's kind of roughly working. All right. Is there gonna be a character or what? I should stop here, by the way. I would probably die in the water or something. Yeah, I'm trying to progress. Yes, the game is actually saved. We have a timer. That's bad. Okay. So let's... Let's move around. Uh, I could dive, probably. Probably I should dive. Yeah, I guess they are supposed to make it. You are supposed to make it by diving. And I'm trying. That's a fish. Of course, you have to know the path, right? If you don't know the path, you won't make it. It's kind of slow, generally speaking. On medium settings, it shouldn't be slow, but it is. Oh, I'm dead. Right? Am I dead? I guess. There is spider, there is a shark. And I'm going still somewhere. So yeah, it is about diving for sure. Um, among other things. Hate underwater sections by the way, in games, generally speaking. Yeah, we can go there. We found we found something, I guess. Uh, what I don't like about those uh, sections, they're always mandatory, you know. You have to do this pro proper sequence in a proper time or you die. It's just so annoying. It was supposed to be funny. I wouldn't say it's funny. I would say it's just a thing. It's well done, but it's not funny. It's just a drawing. So I'm gonna keep going until we run into something, and then I will stop. It's good that the game actually saves itself, because it wasn't the thing before. I didn't save. Now I did. So that's a plus. Apparently there are auto saves. The whole game is timed, which is ridiculous, by the way. I hate timed games. We'll die or something in 90 minutes. And... Is that the right path? Probably... yes. Maybe. I don't know. Usually two options, right? The, the right one or the wrong one. Lots of mushrooms. And... more pictures. Yeah, it's a walking simulator, clearly. Should I still go there? Maybe. Maybe. I guess I do. I can't go down for some reason. That's weird. So I don't know where I'm going now. Again. Okay. Maybe there? No. Maybe. No, probably no. Okay, so I came from one side. I guess. Maybe that's the way to go. I'm not sure if I came from here or not. I'm already lost. Uh, there is what? There's a stone, more shrooms. Did we see it? Am I gonna die? Oh, we moved past something. And my legs got weird. Right. I think we came from here. I'm not entirely sure. Was that the picture? Let me see. I'm trying to see the picture, but I can't. What is it? Stalactite. 
need an item to break. Well, we don't have an item. Probably need an item, apparently. There might be like... Yeah, that's the picture. So once more, I'm going that direction. There is another picture. And there is a hole. Now I'm in it. Before I wasn't in that hole. I couldn't progress. There is a broken mine, maybe. A risk of death, of course. I'm gonna die in a moment, probably. One of the paths is probably correct. And the other is not. Probably insta-death. So let's go there. And we found something. Yes, that's the pickaxe. Hand axe. Let's see. Down with the alga. So we can kill the alga now. Right. Doesn't look like alga. Can I go there? Maybe. Yeah, this looks like alga. How do you, Oh my god. How do you cut it? I could do it with... No. Left? Yes. Yes, we can cut it. I guess. If we keep going... We will finish somewhere. Where? Well... I don't know. I'm very lost here, by the way. It doesn't run very smooth, so that's one of the problems. Are we back? Yes, we're back. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna stop here. Uh, maybe let's leave it like this. Um, so that's the game. Uh, you move around, you are supposed to find objects and use them in a proper place. You are supposed to find the way through the game from point A to point B with random deaths sometimes uh, because of monsters and some other scripted deaths. Oh. Basically you have to know where to go and you have to do it on time with a sp proper time. And what if I just stay here for 10 minutes? Am I gonna just die because I wasted 10 minutes? I would have to start over and start a new save. It's completely ridiculous. The timer is ridiculous. Uh, walking runs badly. Uh, you can lose items randomly, or at least you could at the very beginning. I don't know if that was the design or not. And what we see here is just a walking simulator with a couple of items to use. It's at best an adventure game. Uh, the developer says it's short. I guess it, guess it is, probably, but it will be stuck and it will be failing a lot, so that will be longer. I must say I cannot recommend it. It's not very good in any, uh, well, in any element. Nothing is really done well, aside from the engine. The engine is well passable, aside from the fact that it runs badly, but it looks good, it looks pretty good. Uh, but it's not a very interesting game, even by design, just the adventure game on the Unreal Engine, where you use a couple of objects in a very scripted, linear way. That's not very interesting. Uh, and the bugs are annoying as hell. So, uh, I'm not sure if anybody would be interested in this. Like, you could try to progress through it and keep trying and, you know, probably use your saves. I'm not sure if you can even load. Let's see if I can load. Uh, let's see if I can load. If there's any autosave or something. Yes, there are saves, apparently. A couple of saves. So I guess we're going to have to load it and then do the same path as fast as possible to make sure that you make it in time. Two hours for a game, that's not much. If it's two hours game, I'm not sure if it is, but it might be. Yeah, so now we have more time, right? So we have to go uh, do the thing with the pickaxe as fast as possible. Yeah, and stuff can kill you like this. And we'll go to menu or something. I guess we'll go to menu. Yeah, so that brambles can go anywhere completely randomly and kill you even after you just saved. That's very, very badly done. Uh, overly not very enticing game. Uh, I can see some people who just want to finish it as a, an a achievement, as a challenge. Yes, it is challenging. It's more annoying than challenging, but you're gonna randomly die constantly and making it to the end will be probably a painful process, but if someone wants to do it uh, just for the satisfaction, they, they could, I guess. Uh, for me it wasn't fun, it was just annoying. Uh, the bugs were annoying and uh, being lost in dark place where you can't really see well not because you don't have an item because you do have the glow stick it's just that everything is kind of blurred it's on medium uh, graphics and it still looks bad uh, shouldn't be like this should, should run faster shouldn't be any bugs and just you know diving in a 
dark place and dying constantly because a monster from another side of the map decided to spawn in your face. That's just ridiculous. Um, I would give it two because it works in terms of um, walking simulator adventure, sort of. They tried to add those uh, achievements for weird deaths, which you could be collecting for the sake of it. Uh, you can kinda progress if you really want to, if you really focus on it, if you try multiple times, you will be able to progress eventually. If you don't get annoyed and bored and just pissed off by, by the game, but you could theoretically progress. It won't be very fun, but well, I can say that the game is completely broken. It's just really bugged and really uh, unpolished and it's not even very good in, uh, in the design version or like a short adventure game walking simulator doesn't sound very good and if it's broken, if it's really short if the graphics are kinda blurred for some reason if it doesn't run well, I'm not sure what's the uh, Unreal Engine 4 what it's needing, but apparently it needs some supercomputer to work properly or maybe it never does uh, it wasn't fun for me, I would rather just do the same thing in like, let's, let's say Fallout 4, you can dive there, right? or you can do it in Skyrim, but those games work correctly, not like this one uh, very limited options, everything is very scripted, you have to find uh, item A to go to place B and so on, it goes like this all the time, pick up this, put it there, uh, click that, move it there, uh, switch off this and then find the proper path, pick up an item, kill something that's you know in a proper place that you don't know where, you would have to just constantly uh, keep coming back to saves and doing the same thing perfectly, which is very annoying. It, this is something that could work in a completely different genre, you know. If, it, if you played uh, Dead Cells, for instance, yes, you can perfect the run, you can try to uh, do it in time to get some stuff. Uh, not that you have to, but you can. But there is uh, uh, the, the, the mechanic of uh, something being timed uh, is embedded into the game in a proper way. Here it's just annoying. So I give it 2 out of 10. It's barely playable and I cannot recommend it. But it is what it is. If you have um, another opinion, you can always write it in the comments. Uh, I would say it's 2 out of 10 and not recommended. I think it's a bad game. So I can say this is a crap alert. Uh, the bugs are the same. You still lose the items. You still roll around like a ragdoll. Nothing was changed. It's actually worse with those uh, monsters randomly appearing even in the second section of the game. Those monsters uh, from the forest appear in the water. They sometimes appear to the uh, on the path to the cave. Sometimes they don't. Uh, it's very weird. Before they were like somewhere in the woods. Now they are just in your way, or sometimes they are not. It seems to be completely random. So it's kind of broken. It's actually worse than before the the, the the patch. So guys, that will be it. I told you what I think. Uh, that's just my opinion. If you have other, uh, you can always write it down. Uh, I will listen to every defense of this game. If there is any, also there's only one. Uh, person talking anything in the forum so if you want to write something uh, on forums if you want to find more bugs or if you want to defend the game then please do it there because there is apparently no interest in this game aside from my own so there will be it i'm installing it and i will see you guys uh, in the next review hopefully with something playable